Welcome back to a new episode of Sakura Beach. I'm sorry that I didn't update for the last 30 days, but I was very busy playing Tales of Zestaria and yeah, I'm sorry for that. This is totally my fault. I need to keep up with the schedules, but yeah, I'm, I am new to this too. About the news of come to virtual novels. First, Sakura Beach have sequel now on Steam. I didn't uh, realize there will be a sequel. It's not like uh, Call of Duty to have sequel. Like, come on, why this have sequel? And yeah, a clan is released on Steam. I didn't expect that. I expect that will take at least another year. But yeah, it didn't take them that long. You should buy Clan. Clan is the the best virtual novel ever made. So, episode five. Uh, like I said, one, two, three, four, five. But I like down by just go this way. So yeah. From the, from this episode, it will be right. This is will be the sixth episode, and from now on, I will keep doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh -huh. So, nothing. Guess what? Beach. It seems Momoko can never get enough of the water. She a champion swimmer at school too. Some of the students joke that she actually a mermaid that grow legs instead of fins. Well, Ayami isn't going anywhere near the water though. It seems... Is, is something wrong, Ayami? Nothing at all. I just don't feel like swimming today. It would be more fun just to relax today. She let out a loud yawn. I guess I can understand why she doesn't feel like swimming. As I sit on the beach, with Ayami, I slowly drift off into my own thought. Look back at her, or look at her back, I notice my eyes are moving of my own accord. I can't help but look at certain things. What on your mind, you fool? I immediately snap out of it and look away. Nothing? You get that look on your face again. But it is not like I am worried about you or anything. I just think you look stupid when you do that. Just thinking about the upcoming exam. Why think... Why think about that? We are here to forget our worry, aren't we? Yeah, but don't you think it's a bad idea to not worry at all? I want to do really well this year. Maybe reach the top of the class. I am telling this to Ayami, one of the smartest students in our school. Well, Ayami is one of the smartest students, really? She just shake her head at me. No, no, you fool. You don't think I can do it? It's not that. I think that you are doing it for the wrong reasons. What do you mean? Are you doing that because you want to get into a good university or something? Or is it just to show off? That's actually a good question. But it is one I'd rather not think about right now. I don't know, just uh, feel like making a change. Something you have to make an effort to become better, don't you? Might as well start, uh, strive to become the best. You don't need to be the best to be happy. In fact, I think too many people overlook their own happiness to chase uh, lofty things. She heavy flick her leg up and down. 
Look at Moko for exam. She has terrible grade, but she never let it get her down. CG, I just wa wanted to tell you, you need to start looking at things on Earth, not on space. There may be something you miss if you don't look. Something that I might miss if I don't look. I can't think of anything. <coughs> CG, you an idiot. <coughs> you totally an idiot, to CG. Then you need to look harder. Ayami stand up, stretching herself and letting out a loud yawn. I will be really easy to fall asleep here. Listen to the wave. Hey, CG. You look like you were spacing out for a minute. Remember, no daydreaming allowed. I wasn't daydreaming about space, don't worry. Just thinking about things. I guess he can be excuses this time. But don't think I'll let you go. i let you get away with this, with it, with it next time. What uh, were you thinking about? It looked like you were deep in consecration here. Just musing over something Ayami told me. I can't shake this feeling. Something has been bothering me since I came here. Both of them, I don't know. When you with your friends, you can sometimes tell when they just something wrong. It's not obvious or anything, it's something very subtle. Yet, due to how subtle it is, you don't, you can't really make a big fuss about it. Because you don't know if it's there or not. But I am fairly certain this time. If something bothers them, there's only one thing I could possibly think of. They are coming out of the water now. I think it's a good time to ask. Ayami, I just thought I should tell you something. When you swim, it doesn't look like swimming. It looks more like something they call drowning. <laughs> and you don't want to do that, trust me. <laughs> Dare me, you can send advice, Momoka. I am getting better every time I go out there. Before long, you will have to ask me to save you. I doubt it. How can you just say that with such certainty? <laughs> Very easily. Ayami just looks crushed. You too. Can I ask you something? Both of them look at me. Uh, what is it, you fool? Yes, yeah, Sally. I'm okay. Draw away, way too close to me for for comfort. Did you to know about my three size? So shameless, CG. But it is you. I glad to reveal all. Not, not that. What I ask. Oh. So you do want to know. Don't put word in my mouth like that. I wasn't going to ask about it at all. She getting me completely off track from what I want to say. But it doesn't look like she going to stop. But are you even just a little bit curious? She grinned whiskedly as she said that. If you come at a bit closer, I'll whisper it to you. She leaned over and put her lips close my ear. I can feel my heart escape a bit. Wait, what am I <laughs> letting myself? My three sides are... No, Seiji, don't let yourself get distracted. She bears rashly in silence. A secret. I can feel my heart sink as she said that. She was teasing me the entire time. 
I have to keep my secret CG. If I just go around and tell everyone, they're not secret anymore. She a pure evil, this girl. I can't believe I let her distract me like that. But now I am going to. That's enough, you act so improper all of the time, Momoko. I am sure that CG prefers someone who know when to act mature. On the other hand, Ayame, she doesn't need secret at all. I know all three of them. You will stop right there. This pervert doesn't need to know that, uh, uh, that at all. I don't want to know anyway. What do you mean you don't want to know? I am not going. I'm not good enough, you fool. But wasn't she mad about the idea of me knowing? Oh my, Hayame. Maybe you secretly do want him to know. Anyway, what I want to ask you was about how you two have been acting. What do you mean, Sully? Uh, there has been nothing unusual here. If you refer to how I have tortured you present here, uh, that is a favor I was willing to grant from the beginning. Acting surprised about it now is ridiculous. It's just that. How do I put it? I noticed something over the last few days. Something like what? Momoko actually taking this seriously. What is this, CG? CG again, Ayami is taking it seriously too. Do s did something happen to you two before we came here? I just feel like you two haven't been yourself lately. There a problem, isn't there? Maybe? I cannot say for certain I do not pay attention to my problems. Yeah, I take a screenshot of that. This is amazing. Well, that's Momoko for you. I'm not admitting it's their problem or not. No, do not deceive. But if there was a problem, what do you think this problem may be? Hmm, well, both of them seem to be anticipating my question. How do I put this? They are seem to get edgier and edgier. So, do you two like someone? Yes? Both of them seem to go into a state of shock. Uh, oh goodness! <laughs> Wait a minute, is there a progress in the story in this episode? Yes! Momoko is actually flustered. Does she like someone after all? CG, you're still an idiot. Do don't ask a question like this. It is it isn't right to pray into lady privacy what's wrong with you you rumor monger i was just wondering both of you are acting a bit like that you were talking to each other and blushing a fair bit before we went on this trip were you talking about who you like both of them seem to be going into a meltdown. Great. Just off a steam erupt from their ears. I am am I not far from the truth? Yeah, kind of the truth is in your face. CG, you can't go and ask things like that. You have to work it out yourself. I suppose that was the point of this. The reaction is far more telling than anything else. I think I am finally onto something for change. 
What brought this up anyway? Why did you ask this now? I didn't want to because I thought I might distract you from having fun. But whatever this is, I think it is bothering you both. So if you want to talk about it, I am right here. This our CG always so considering of others. It's not often that I see Momoko taken so far aback. Well, I be serious with you. Maybe I do like someone. I don't know for sure just yet, so don't think I am admitting it to anything. No, no, not at all, not at all. Well, anyway, I've known him for a very long time. He's someone very special to me. We'll just see what happens, though. Right, uh, the uncertainty must be bothering you. You are absolutely right about that. If there's one thing that amazes me every time, CG, it's your intention with these things. Don't give him too much credit. Oh, right, Ayami, is it the same thing for you? I don't have to answer that if I don't want to. But because it is you asking, CG, I think I might like someone. This is massive news. They might like someone, but then again, they can't call just be playing a trick on me. Momoko and Patricia love to tease me with such things. Ayami, on the other hand, no, she really ever forward about what she mean either. I know full well that she usually say that exact opposite of what she meaning. For now, I'll just presume that they are being honest with me. It's someone you very familiar with. Someone I'm familiar with. I am, I am, I am. Who could that be? Since both of them are so popular at the school, there have heaps of guys that talk with them. Well, most of the time they reject guys rather than talking to them. But either way, they do know a lot of people. But they also said it was someone that I know. Who do they look so nervous about this anyway? Would it be a bad thing if I discover who it is? It sadly occurred to me who it might be. Could it be... Huh? Both of them look really excited. That captain of the basketball... <sighs> The captain of the basketball club. The voice of the waves are just very fitting. Oh fuck. Fuck you, CG. Their expansion turn really sir. What? He talked to you two all the time, doesn't he? Well, not so much talk as get brutalist by them all the time. He just keep coming back more determinative than ever though. So. Momoko just bouts. So close yet so far, CG. I will not like him in thousand years. I honestly can't believe you sometimes. That guy is completely idiot. Even more so than you are. Sorry, I honestly don't know who it could be. Both of them let out a heavy sigh. One day, CG. One day, maybe, maybe you'll work it out. 
somehow I don't think so. She actually looks really upset by this. Momoko, are you okay? I don't feel like swimming anymore. Bending over, she quickly grabbed her things. Not only do you completely fail to understand my feeling, but you won't tell me what's wrong with you. What? what what's wrong with me? But I am fine. We both know that you are bothered by something. You have got that look on your face. That sullen look. She began to wander off from the beach. Hey, where are you going? For a walk. Alone. I opened my mouth to say something, but then I think better of it. This isn't a good time for me to say anything. Look back at Ayami, her stare is drilling a hole through my head. I am afraid I feel the same. I need some time alone. This is something I say a lot, but you really are stupid sometimes. We trusted you enough to talk about our feeling. Yet you avoid talking about you own. What do you mean my feeling? You know exactly what I mean. No, I don't. No, seriously, I don't. If you think you are fooling anyone, you're wrong. I, I begin to... It's beginning to make sense. Maybe it has nothing to do with love at all, but I've been simply pushing them away and they notice it. Ayami dragged herself out of the shallow and merged off in the opposite direction. For a moment I just stand there and try to pursue what just happened. It wasn't really my place to ask about who they like, I, I admit. But why did they react like that only after I get it wrong? They looked so happy when I was going to guess. Come on! No one that stupid, CG. Do you really want to be an astronaut with that, with that level of intelligence? What, a, one of one, two hundred or something? Perhaps they aren't upset that I ask, but because I get it wrong. Damn it! I really wish I was smarter sometime. Or maybe I just don't understand them because I'm a guy. What should I do in the meantime? Neither of them want to talk to me right now. Maybe I'll go for a walk too. They should have their phone on them. I'll be able to message them later and see where they are. <sighs> that was stupid. CG, that was stupid. In the end, I wandered back to the apartment. But the hour passed. And there's still no sight of either of them. I wouldn't have asked if I knew that it would upset them so much. Sometimes I really do hate myself. Spending a little bit more time thinking before saying anything. That will really do me a world of good. But I can't just sit there here and mop. I need to find I need to find them and bring them back home. Damn it, I should have been a lot more careful with what I said. I didn't know asking them that will upset them so much she responds i feel admittedly relieved then i actually read it i'm fine i'm at cliffs now that's sandy cliff down my spin normally when she messaged me she barely cared about spelling at all the fact that she said something so short and so Certainly, she must be absolutely furious with me. I need to go apologize to her immediately. 
let's try Ayami too. She responds to Mind your own business, you fool. Well, that Ayami for you. I think I should see her first. Just a second. To my relief, I see Ayami at the park. Sitting down on one of the many benches. I'm not really sure how I am supposed to approach her. Just act natural. Do you best to smile. I am a. She looked back at me. CJ, I hope you're here to apologize. But I don't understand what I said to both of you. Please just talk to me. I don't want to upset you. Ah, oh, CJ, I know you never meant any harm to either of us. You are a bumbling, awkward fool, but you are not one who nasty in any way. But you really don't understand a girl feeling. That's why I'm asking you what's wrong. I am a fool, I admit it. So how about a fool here? Are both of you scared that I am just going to leave you both behind? Is that what you trying to tell me? Perhaps. But as with everything about you, I know there more to it than you letting on. You always try to hide your own heart. She move a bit closer to me, looking me in the eye. You haven't been yourself for months. I haven't? I didn't really notice. Why do you think I haven't been myself? Normally, when Momoko teases you, you turn as red as that sunset in front of us. You really are a shy person. She looked back toward the horizon, something melancholic hole about it. Right now, all you do is just nod and smile. As it is as if you are barely recognize what's happening around you right now. Leaning back on the beach, she stared up at the stars and there slowly emerged from this orange sky. You're somewhere else right now. I don't know where. Maybe it's somewhere between the north, deeper and Orion belt knowing you but wherever it is it's far away there are none of Ayami hunting right now but being completely frank with me about how she feel don't you feel it don't you feel how you slowly drifting away somewhere hi is this what Momoko was talking about this trip is the first time we've seen you in weeks. Wow, uh, that is character development here. CG was away from his friends for a long time. You sacrificing all of your time for that dreams of you. But if you don't, if I don't make sacrifice, how will I reach that dream? It's not a question of how much you want to give up for it. It's a question of whatever you will find what you want out of that dream. Have you ever thought if that is really what you want? You spend so much time CG thinking if you could but you didn't think if you should. Straight away from Jurassic Park, amazing meme. Of course it is what I want. What? Why else would I work so hard for it? Is that so CG? Have you looked deeper? Or is something else driving you to do this? That is what I am trying to work out. I don't really know why it's such a big deal. Lots of students do nothing but put their time into study, don't they? It's not that same when it's you. 
how it is not the same because you acting like how you used to back when we first met huh she bringing that up now I admit it I was a troubled kid a lot of things had happened but I guess sometimes the best come back to you in weird way something has happened and whatever it is it pushing you along this path you have a lot you have to decide what is really what you want out of life if you sacrifice everything for the sake of an ambitious dream there are no telling what you may miss out of it you do and you do not know if that dream will merely leave you empty for desire like yours is not one that can be stared so easily I doubt that once you get where you want to be you won't look back without regret well I'm not very smart the only thing I can do is to give a lot of time to do something that's why I'm giving so much time to study it right now. I swear that we'll spend a lot of time with each of other when exam is over. Will you? Or will you simply continue for the next exam? And the exam after that? Demand move faster than you can run, CG. No matter what you do, know that I'll do my best to be there when you need me but if you keep running away I might trip over one day as I run after you damn the scene is very good and then you'll disappear into the horizon she look out toward the sea then something hurt you lately CG there no hiding in it. I have known you for nearly as long as you known yourself. Whatever it is, it is what driving you to hide from us. I have played the fool for long enough. So you might hide behind those smile and gentle words. But the truth can never be hidden. You sound like a superhero. Perhaps I am, but it makes what I am saying no less true. She finally stands up for the park bench and stretches. I'm going back to the hotel. Do not think this is over, CG. Before we leave this place, we will talk about this. I understand. She nodded and smiled gently. I suppose I can let you off just this once, you fool. She slowly walked off then. I guess it's over for now. I still have to go to see Momoko though. Whoa, that was very good scene. I wandered back to the cliff after talking to Ayami. Does Momoko know the way to my secret spot? Sure enough, she's standing there looking out at the sunset. Momoko, are you okay? CG, I'm fine. She looked out toward the rippling ocean before. CG, I wish you would really see me, but I do see you. No, you don't. You don't see me at all. That's why I'm scared that you'll disappear one day. You're so busy thinking about your dreams and achieving this grand thing, but you still don't see me. I don't understand. I know that you don't. 
That's what hurts so much. She walked over to me and lawn against my shoulder. You adorable CG. No matter how much you fail to see what around you, I can't help but feel the same way about you that I have always have. Feel about me? What do you mean? She shake her head. Something about her seemed really lonely. Wake up from that dream, CG. I know that you're looking for your answer out there among the stars. Don't look up there for what you want. Look down here instead. I don't say that because I want to hold you back or anything. But I say this because I don't want you to reach that pinnacle. Yet, not finding what you really want up there. What is she talking about? Just, just, I just, she struggled to find the words she want to say. Is there something haven't been telling us that isn't like you at all? For weeks now you been, you barely said anything to either of us. Please Seiji, what is bothering you? And why are you pushing us away because of it? I don't know, I, I was pushing you away. I just needed some time to think about something. Think about what? What is it you can tell me? I know you for so long, CG. So why can't you feel me about this? It's just that it just complicated. Is it ever simple with you? She reached out to me, putting one hand on my cheek. Adorable silly CG. You puzzle far more complex than anyone could ever guess. I wish I knew where to put all of this pieces. But when you can do that for me, when you finally have to, the courage to talk, I'll be here for you like I always have. She pulled her hand away, looking back toward the ocean. It uh, looked like someone is listening in. Oh, where do you come from? Huh. Ayami pops out of the undergrowth. I was just ensure that nothing strange was happening. Nothing strange at all. The point the two of them have tried to tell me it is that I make regret studying so hard. Perhaps they're right. They're both right about something happening too. But I still don't want to talk about that. What they made me realize is that what happening has affected me more than I admitted to myself. In the end, I tried to choose ignorance over the truth. And yeah, that didn't work at all. What Ayami said is that if I don't get out of this mindset, would I ever stop? Would I just keep going for the rest of my life at that beast? Give up everything just to do the next exam, next assignment and get that next promotion? It, it's left me with a lot of things to do about. Hey, I... Huh? What? Hey, uh, what? 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 Okay. Okay. What if I end the episode here without no explanation? 
Okay, okay, I will, uh, I will continue. We still have 20 minutes. They are patiently looking their lips together. It's cool kissing. Their lip will, it's all squish against each other. The two of them stand there for the longest time. As time passes, this kiss gets more and more loud. I swear that are using their tongue. This is what almost look like a, a scene out of romantic movie. As I look down, I can't help out notice where their hands are moving. It, it's so much to behold. Were you saying something, CG? Is something wrong? How could they be acting like nothing is happening at all? Why is Ayami joining in on this teasing? Has Momoko finally corrupt her moral? You too? Why are you? Is something wrong, CG? You all right? They immediately go back to what they were doing when I interrupt them. They really get into it, no? There are rare moments with this two where I left speechless. This is one of them. I want to see the other moments. CG Momoko call out to me with seductive tone. What are you doing over there, CG? It's better to rest a bit than it. Oh shit. It's better to participate it than it's to watch. If you simply stand on the sideline for the rest of your life, you will have never truly lived. Mamoko and Ayami as CG for three song. <laughs> I didn't expect that, okay. Seize the moment, CG! Just! Even during this situation, Ayami find a moment to give me motivation speech. No, no, I am fine over here. Thank you. Oh, live a little, CG. There are times where you must try new things. Ah, is this what this is all about? Trying new things. Are they? Can't even think straight? Despite my best effort, I can't help out keeping washing their lips. They pull back, stick, stand between their mouth. This is nice. You're so right. It will be even nice with third person. That's true. What are you? What are you still doing over there, stupid? Look, I'm fine, you two go ahead. Just remember something I need to do. I need to get away from them. Give me give my head time to cool off. No, no, you don't go to cool off. Stay where you are. It took me a while to get back home. I was masturbating like hell. Oh. oh. Only after completely submerging myself several times did my head cool off. Both of them are waiting for me. Welcome back, CG. Nothing happened. Like, like nothing happened. Act like nothing happened. Nice to see that the fool has come home. Nice to see both two. Both of them are acting as nothing happened. Yeah. Maybe I should just do the same for now. I'm pretty tired today, so I'm probably going to head to bed early. Before you rest. Can we talk? 
I guess that's alright. You're not very good at hiding things, CG. Especially not from yourself. Don't you think that you're running away? That's what about space has you obsessed about with it. Perhaps I do, but I don't see what's so bad about it. Running away isn't going to solve anything until you face what's happening. I don't think you can really move on with your life, but you are not going to be ready to say anything today. Perhaps tomorrow, perhaps the day after that, you'll be ready when you're ready. That's how he always works after all. We know you too well after all. Oh, okay then. Rest easy, CG. I blob into my back just trying to clear my head. Of course it's obvious that they want me to notice something. I can't work out what that is though. They love you, fool. I'm not sure how they knew that my listlessness related to the best. You can bury the best if you try really hard, but sometimes something comes along with digging digs it back up to the surface. They say that I look like what I used to. Did they mean that when I found out the truth about my parents? Yes, I do remember this feeling. The pain of the past, no matter how much you try to bury it, changes you. It's something you simply bear as you continue to walk forward. As much as I try to deny it, to myself they are right. But how do I deal with this and the unresolving feeling? It's something which isn't very simple to do, but it seems that they share my pain too. For their sake perhaps I need to stop trying to escape and figure out another way to get through this. For now though, what I really need to do is rest. I can't work out what I am missing right now. Ayami suggests that I was missing something the other day too. Perhaps some sleep will be the best way for me to work it all out. The truth is that I received an unmarked letter in the mailbox a long time ago. The sender of the letter claimed to be my mother. Wow! She said that she wanted to see me again after she left me in her father care. What she had said was that she hoped that I had succeed despite her own poor choices. Even if I didn't notice it, I was sinking into this de depression. Nothing she said in that letter was nasty or hurtful, yet thinking about it she had left me with someone else and ran away to someone. And I cannot help but be res resentful of that. The truth is that I have been distrusting of everyone around me for quite some time. Even my grandmother the man, even my grandfather, the man who has been looking after me for as long as I can remember. I guess ha I have abandonment issue. Yet, judging by what Momoko said to me earlier this week, she also afraid of being left behind just like I have been. Ayami feel the same, no doubt. Despite their differences, these two are connected in the strangest way. They practically have one heart. When one of them feels something, the other does too. How strange, I know what it is like when someone leaves you for grand unknown adventure. Yet in the end, that's all I want to do too. Just free myself of my problem and slip away somewhere among the stars. That's why I am so driven 
I want to escape and I am allowing nothing to stop me. Whatever or not that is is the right thing to do is another matter entirely. They know that I have been acting like hermit for weeks. Ayami said that I was acting like I used to when when we were a little. Judging by what they both said, they both know that what's hurting me now is about the best. They just haven't fit all the pieces together. Oh well, I won't worry about it now. Tomorrow is another day. Oh man, I will end the installment here. This is, will be the end of episode 6, November 30. Wow, we make a lot of progress today, aren't we? Well, first off, there are uh, this uh, thing about the end where we discovered there are something about CEG character. He's hate bounding with people. Maybe this is why he don't want to see a relationship between him and either Ayami or Momoko. That explain a lot of he him like ignore them even with all this teasing. That uh, make the story makes sense a little bit. People with this issue. The mother abandoned him. He may be afraid that he will hurt his best friends in the future the same way his mother did to him. This is story getting good. I don't know why everyone hates this game. I heard bad thing about this game, but so far I see this is a very good story so far. Actually, this is a good game. I actually recommend it. This episode, episode six. Next episode will be seven, and I am dying to see what will happen next episode that will be great great series see you next time everyone